there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the backyard doing a little bit of plinking, a little bit of uh, pellet testing with my Barra 1100Z again. This is, uh, I actually really like this rifle. It's quite a, quite a nice shooting gun. Um, it's no, uh, you know, competition gun, but it is a very nice rifle and uh, excellent supporter, uh, sporter. This would make an excellent uh, rabbit hunting or squirrel hunting or bird hunting gun. It's accurate enough, definitely accurate enough for that. Um, I still have the suppressor on the end and that helps out a lot making this backyard friendly. It was not very, not very loud even without it, but uh, it definitely helps a lot. Um, so a couple things, I am running it with uh, seven turns in. When I first got it, it was about five turns in on the adjuster screw, which was giving me about 800 feet per second. Seven turns in brings me up to just a little over 900 feet per second. And uh, still getting a really good shot count. I, I'm getting about 35 shots uh, before I even get down to 1,000 PSI. And uh, very accurate uh, all the way through that whole, whole cycle. Um, I've shot uh, several different pellets out of it, and it did well with all of them. Uh, I got some Norma Super Point Strikes, some Norma Golden Trophy FTs, some Ruger Super Points. It did decent with those, but honestly, the ones that it did the best with out of everything are these Crossman Premier Hollow Points. So we're going to test those on camera here too today. And uh, it also did really well with both of my 22 caliber uh, rifle cutter, uh, wad cutter profiles. And we're gonna go ahead and test those out too. And uh, I have got a camera running on my target at 25 yards and I have my Vivor uh, laser distance meter now so we can go ahead and uh, test that. One thing I don't like about this meter is every time I turn it off, I have to go back in here and reset it to foot instead of meters. But uh, I guess if that's the worst thing about it, I do like that it actually has a actually has a camera on it that you can use to because it's really hard to see the laser at distance. All right, so there is my distance reading. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, 77.15 feet. So just a touch over 25 yards. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot a couple of groups. I've got uh, five shots in the magazine of the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. And uh, let's see what we can do. I have... Uh, one of the eight inch splatter bursts out there just so I've got a number of points to shoot at here. As you guys may have remember seeing in one of my previous videos, I did a trigger adjustment on this. Um, and very much just like the old Crossmans, the Crossman 180s and, and whatnot, there's actually three different adjustments for these. And uh, if you go back and look, you'll see uh, my video. But uh, it adjusted from a three pound, 10 ounce trigger, which actually felt really nice, down to right around a two pound trigger just under, just over, uh, right right in that two pound range and uh, really did well. So I've actually done that same adjustment now on my two Beeman, my AR2078 and my QB Chief. And I've got both of those down under a pound. So <laughs> that is uh, pretty amazing. I imagine I could probably get this one down a little lighter too, 
but for a sporter that you would want to carry out in the woods and go hunting with, I don't think you'd want to go much less than two pounds. Just, uh, but it's a really nice feeling trigger. Really seems like with just a little bit more velocity, these groups have, uh, oops, the V-board just shut off. But uh, the groups uh, have tightened up quite a bit for me on this uh, with most of the pellets I'm using. All right, that's a really good looking group. Let's go ahead and swap this mag out for I'm going to be shooting five shots of the Rifle Premium uh, wad cutters. It didn't group quite as good with these with the uh, as the Crossman hollow points, but it actually did really pretty darn good with these. Ooh, pull that one off to the right. I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't. Uh... I don't know why I'm, I... I'm shooting at the uh, red dot on the left hand, nine o'clock position on the shoot and see there. We're more going for grouping than for uh, shot placement. I like a gun that Lakes Crossman Premier Hollow Points. I can buy them for five, six bucks a tin at Walmart. So. <laughs> Well, maybe that one wasn't so good. We might have to do a makeup round with the uh, Crossbow Premier Hollow Points again. <laughs> but let's try these uh, rifle cutters. So those, it did good with the Premier's, uh, rifle Premier's uh, in my testing that I did before I started the video up. Obviously it didn't do so good that round. But let's try some of these rifle cutters and then I'll do maybe one more group with the uh, Crossman's just to show that it wasn't a fluke. Looks like I could use a couple of clicks to the left from all of them. Maybe it was the maybe it was the cutters it did better with. <laughs> Three into basically the same hole so far. That's what I like to see. Oh, had to screw one up, didn't I? Let me go ahead and I'm gonna do a little bit of trigger adjustment here. I'm gonna go to the left. Uh, so it needs about an inch maybe, so. Start out with eight clicks. And then I'm going to do one more group with the Crossman Premier Hollow Points and then we'll get running. Let's see, I've done 15 shots so far, 
and I went from about 2800 on the fill down to about 2100 <coughs> still plenty of, still plenty of air left all right let's go to the three o'clock position on the splatter burst and uh, do one more group here with the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. All right. Looks like maybe I brought it to the left just a little too much, but that's okay. Still minted a squirrel, right? <laughs> to the right. All right. That one flyer was was my fault. I definitely uh, flinched that one over. All righty. Well, that's not a bad looking group. Should I try one more while we're on camera with the uh, rifle cutters? Might as well. That, that really seemed to look pretty nice. Let's do five more shots with the rifle cutters. Still got the center, uh, center bullseye. Didn't seem to really uh, care for those rifle premiums in this uh, group on the video anyway. Did better off camera for sure. All right, center bullseye, rifle cutters. Still going off to the left. Two off to the right, and then... Hmm, those aren't uh, the results that I was getting before I started the video up. But anyway, that's what we get. That's what I, I show it like it go goes, but uh, we got really a couple good groups, and then uh, and a couple with a couple flyers. But... Uh, That last group with the rifle cutters. So the groups with the rifle or the uh, Crossman Premier Hollow Points were, were the best, I think, out of all of them. And uh, that's a really budget-friendly pe budget friendly pellet. And uh, it would be a really good hunting round, too, I think, for rabbits and squirrels and whatnot. And, uh, we are sitting at uh, about 1,800 on the, the meter now, so we still got to good bit of uh, air left for for a hunting situation <laughs> so anyway there you go there's some more pellet testing with my Barra 1100z having a lot of fun with this one uh, done some trigger work on it now uh, adjusted the power on it some I may try uh, backing it out one turn and seeing if that does anything with the got to find that sweet spot really with the uh, uh, balance between uh, accuracy and power but uh, right now at 900 well with 13.7 grain pellets it's 925 feet per second so I expect some of these that are a little bit heavier might be right around that 900 mark but anyway hope you guys liked the video till next time have a great day <laughs>